Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today's video is going to be a bit of an interesting one. I don't typically talk about these subjects, or I, I just don't really like dipping my toes in these waters because usually it's pointless and meaningless. If you don't know, Sensitive Society and Brion got into a little bit of a spat on Twitter. Now, the reason why I want to talk about this is because of Brion. It, it's because of Brion and his past, and I actually kind of was a little interested on trying to figure out the truth and everything about what's going on with him and whatnot. Now, before we get into what Brion has done, and everything, I would like to read off what happened on Twitter between Sensitive and Brion because these two literally had like a random argument for no reason. Essentially, Sensitive made a joke and Brion just took it way too serious and he started making like paragraphs uh, arguing about, I, I don't even know what, he tried to like show proof or something and uh, I will say this, that I'm not going to be showing the quote unquote proof because again, it's all a joke. It, it's a it's a joke. So the evidence that Brion brings is is pointless because again, that the, it was a Sensitive society society haha ha, laugh it was a it was a giggle it was a joke okay like the thing is is you don't have to find his joke funny it is just that he was making a joke and brion for some reason got bent out of shape over it. but this led to past problems from brion being let up it, it, it led to brion's past being brought up again which is awesome job from brion really great job buddy you really you really got him there no more messing around no more fucking around let's just read the tweets and let's just kind of get up to up to speed with what's happening right now sensitive said i I swear to God, if I see one more commentary channel, copy my videos and thumbnails, I'm gonna nut on your back. And it's pretty clear that he's just joking. Like he literally ends it with, I'm gonna nut on your back. I mean, it's, I don't know how, how much more obvious this has to get, but Brion just didn't take it that way. Imagine putting the least amount of effort into your content, specifically the editing and the thumbnails, doing the bare minimum, making a living off of it. And then you get pissed at people in your community who do the same shit as you and literally everyone else. Then you claim they're copying your content and your thumbnail. For God's sakes, work topic commentary channels. Motherfuckers complaining about how they're being copied when the whole topic commentary community is the same shit. Like, get the fuck out of here and be happy you pull views. I'm also having a hard time understanding why if I'm here complaining about people copying me, then why the hell would I be a hypocrite and do it to other people? You can't have your cake and eat it too. I don't care if people see what I post and decide to cover it for themselves. I'm not gatekeeping a topic. When someone else sees my video and wants to make their own, I see that as totally fine and I don't accuse them of copying. If they straight up rip my exact thumbnail or if they word for word their video from my video, then that's where I draw the line. This, oh, he saw my video and decided to cover the topic too with a similar looking thumbnail is gay and who the fuck cares? The issue I have is if you're gonna cover the same topic I did after seeing my video and, and title it relatively the same and have really similar looking thumbnail, then hours later go to Twitter to complain that people are copying you based off a similar video and similar looking thumbnail. Then you're just a hypocrite and should be complaining. Lost my respect. The grammar here is unironically just, uh, it, it, it's pretty fucking hilarious, but obviously sensitive responded to this saying, bro, are you retarded? Genuine question here. You couldn't tell that's a joke. Sick to stealing my ideas instead. Like it's just a joke. It's a, it's a clear cut, obvious fucking joke. It, it, I don't, I, I really don't understand why Brion got upset over this one fucking tweet. Like he actually just jumped the gun and was just assuming that he's making fun of Brion, right? The funniest part about this is that sensitive actually had no clue who Brion was or what he's done. So he's not even talking about this this guy. So that's the best part. Keep in mind, Brion brings receipts, but I'm gonna be real with you. I don't care to show the receipts because again, this is a joke. It's like none of the quote unquote receipts make any sense because it's just a video of sensitive, essentially having the take back in the day when we, when the tag swag stuff happened, right? It was just essentially the whole same thing he said, where it's like, we copy each other all the time, but when it's word for word or when it's the exact same thumbnail, then we have a problem. Like it, it's just that opinion, right? Again, it, it's a joke. I don't really get it, but Brion goes on another rant saying, right, it was all a joke. The classic, I can't stand on shit I say, so I add a joke to it to use as a defense for myself when someone calls me out on it. I mean, at least if you're gonna joke about it, be funny. If you feel that way about people copying you despite you being a fucking commentary channel, don't be a hypocrite. Coming to Twitter specifically joking about other commentary channels copying you is weird and unfunny. You know them copying you gets to your head. That's why you voiced your feelings on Twitter. I've seen your video on Pegasus and Taxwag two years ago. I'm aware of how you feel about copying. So trying to play that off as a joke is insane pussy behavior. I can't get over how, according to you, you can steal ideas as a commentary channel when you cover the same news everyone talks about. But nope, apparently I'm the retard in the situation. Last thing, it's very funny of you to say, stick to stealing my ideas instead when you did it to me just a day ago. I have no issue with people seeing what I talk about and making their own videos, like I said before, but don't be a hypocrite and do it to me if you're against it, because that's just retarded. And of course, sensitive just responds, bro, I'm gonna be honest here, I 
have no idea who you are. I'm being told you've done some very sus things with minors, so I would advise you to chill the fuck out. If I'm low on content, I'll come back to this in a few days and milk you for money. Get off Twitter and make some money, bro. I don't think insinuating I'm a pedo over a two-year age gap is a good look, bro. This you, and it's just the, the image of, uh, I'd let her drink my blood. I'm such a simp. Now, to finish off this video, I want to talk about what Brion has actually done. I don't give a fuck about the argument they had about the content or whatever. I, I could care less about that. Again, it was a joke from Sensitive. I, Brion took it way too far. I want to talk about the stuff that Sensitive brings up at the end. I think this is a very interesting conversation to be had within the community, and maybe even a debate to be had. I'll say this before I even get into it. I don't think Brion is a downright pedophile. I don't think the guy is a creepy little pedo. I think he's a weirdo and a creep, but at the most, that's really all it is. And the reason why I say that is because this is a one-time incident with very little evidence, and it's not a massive age gap. It's a three to two year age gap where he flirted with somebody, but we'll get into it because I think there's more to be said about this. Now, a year ago, this was brought to light by a creator by the name of Kumo, and then I believe it was brought up by a couple other people, but we'll stick with Kumo stuff because that's the only stuff I can find. And I do want to say this, I think Kumo's video about it is not that good. They focus way too hard on the age gap instead of actually focusing on the messages, which is the weirdest part. Two to three years is downright not pedophilia. There is no justification for calling it pedophilia, and there is simply nothing that can consider two to three years apart to be pedophilia. What would consider an age gap to be pedophilia is if Brion had a repetitive behavior. If he did this with multiple 15-year-old girls at the age of 18, then you got a case on your hand. But all we really have is one incident with one girl. But this is not me defending Brion, okay? Because we need to get into these messages. There's three screenshots that I have here that I want to focus more on. One of them is of him saying, I have a crush on a CP distributor. Now, to give you context about who the girl is and what's happening, this girl is a 15-year-old girl who is a part of Meowba's community. I'm not going to go into detail about Meowba. You should probably know by now who they are. But essentially, this girl would cut themselves to get roles in Meowba's Discord server. Brion would make videos, shorts videos, defending this girl and shitting on Meowba. And surprisingly enough, this guy managed to somehow develop a crush for this person. You probably want to know what the context of CP distributor means or what's happening here. This girl was known in the community as a quote unquote CP distributor, allegedly. I have no clue if she actually was distributing uh, nudes of herself to other people, but that's according to them, that's what was happening. So Brion sent a message essentially saying, I have a crush on a CP distributor. First of all, why would you say this? In what world does anybody say this? When you have a crush on somebody, right? You don't say, I'm in love with this minor who likes to send images of themselves to grown men. You say, I like this person. You say their name. You say you have a crush on this said person. The problem with this message and the problem with this context is the implication could simply be that people might insinuate that either you've seen her nudes and now you've developed a said crush on this said girl, or you would like to see her nudes by just simply saying, I have a crush on a CP distributor. Why would you say that? Now, Brion likes to play this off as, oh, I said this as a joke before, or he says a bunch of other excuses for it. It's changed up a lot. We'll soon learn that this is obviously not a fucking joke. The guy clearly was into her because he had messages where he would flirt with her. Now, this one in particular is the one I want to show where, again, he would essentially just tell her she's cute or he would say something on the lines of like, I know I'm 18, but you know, I still really think you're pretty and she would clearly not be interested or she would point out the fact that, hey, you're 18. I guess the guy wouldn't really get the hint a little bit, but eventually I feel like he would. Now that leads us to the last message, which is the blood one. Now, the reason why I don't like this blood one and the reason why I think this gives us a lot of context is that, Brion, you're heavily insinuating that you want something sexual out of a 15-year-old girl. Now, I understand that it is a three-year gap. You are 18, she is 15. Nobody does this, okay? Only weirdos do this. I've dealt with people before who are like this where they insinuate insinuate they want something sexual from their crush, uh, but a normal crush is not formed by sex, okay? You can have a crush on somebody, you can even date somebody without it being sexual. And that's the problem with this, is that you're heavily insinuating that you want something sexual out of a relationship with this person, which is why I think this argument should be had. I would typically sit down and say, Brion, you're innocent, you're fine, you're not a pedo, you're not a creep, you're just simply hitting on a girl that you find pretty, and you're shooting your shot and you miss. But you're insinuating you want something sexual from a girl that you kind of barely know, barely met, and are defending from the bad people of Miyaba's community when you're essentially sitting here saying, I'm crushing on the CP distributor and you also want her to suck your blood? You don't come off as any better of a person in this circumstance, which is what makes it creepy. Like 
I said, I still hold the opinion that I don't think the guy's a pedo unless he has repetitive behavior or unless we have more messages or something to prove or show that this guy received something like nudes or something, then I then I can't say anything. I don't think the guy's a pedo. I think it was probably an incident where he's just being weird and he clearly is into extremely weird things. But like I said, I'd love to have that argument or debate with somebody who maybe thinks he is a pedo or maybe this does consider him to be a said pedo. And now we'll come back to what's happening in the now. So ever since that subject happened, Brion would kind of do a really bad job of defending himself. He had a consistent behavior of just doing terrible things to defend himself. A good example is he said that the messages were faked, then faked a message of Kumo being a creep when it just wasn't real. And the messages again are not fake. These are real messages. Brion has admitted to that. Then Brion also, again, I've said this already, but he played it off as like, no, these are jokes when it's pretty obvious that these are just not jokes. Ironic, right? He gets mad at Sensitive for saying it was a joke, but when he says it's a joke, you gotta take him serious. There's also times where he plays it off as, this isn't what I wanted, I didn't want sexual pictures from her, but again, you heavily insinuate you want something sexual from her, like you want her to drink your blood or you would let her drink your blood. Oh, 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 oh pause that. What's, what's going on here? What's going on? First, what's, what's going on here? I, uh, uh, yes, yes, so, yes, Brian. So he previously got his fucking account deleted. Yeah, go and look at those. Read those, please. Uh, what? Who's deleted user? On. Brion is. Oh, that, that's me because I had my account deleted for something that was unrelated to all of this. So, so this is you saying I have a crush on a CD distributor? Uh, yeah, that was not meant oh. to be taken literally. Okay. What uh, do you mean? Uh, what do you mean? Uh, what I don't understand. Uh, it's the child porn. It was just a goof. It was just for laughs. I'll send I can harder. try and find you the next time. That was not even sent to her. That was a fucking joke, and it was sent hey, to a group no, chat. Apparently, a uh, little folk. Oh, oh yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, let me let me turn down the live stream so I can actually speak on that. Okay. Okay. So he said it was a joke, and he said he sent it to a group chat, right? Uh, yeah. sure. Okay. Okay. He's refused. He has refused to actually fill us in on this context of this being a joke and in a group chat. You recognize you it's wrong because you, well, uh, you recognize it's wrong because you tried to say you weren't flirting with her and there wasn't anything like that. But in this in this uh, live, didn't we? Yeah, find I showed out you a, a CP I mean, distributor. Up here. Yeah, there yeah. was flirting. There was that, and you, apparently you called a CP distributor. So you knew she <laughs> would send shit. Right so that's why you spoke to her because you knew she sent I mean, like, a fifteen-year-old sending an adult shit. That's you know. That's that's not what I wanted. What? Very strange, very weird. All around, his responses to these things just never really go well. Half the time, he sits in a live stream and just doesn't say a word about it when people confront him, doesn't really try to defend himself, and simply just sits there. And then for other times, he will literally join people's live streams and just go on a full-on rant about how people spread misinformation about me and make me out like I'm a creepy little pedo. And you try to defend yourself in people's chats, which is just really weird. Brion, if you don't want this subject to go any farther, then stop being a spurg on the internet about your drama. Just stop. Simply put, I seriously don't understand why you keep bringing it up on random occasions. And then when it comes to Twitter, you spurg out and then it leads to people saying, hey, remember when you did this with a girl? Now you're letting other people bring it out for you. Y you're doing it to yourself, man. You're ruining your own reputation. You're damaging yourself. And the final thing and the nail in the coffin that really pisses me off about this subject is the sheer fact that he went on lyrics his stream with Toastify and he essentially just said that this won't affect his career and he doesn't care because it's not going to hurt him in the long run. I feel like, I guess, addressing these allegations is uh, really the only thing. Um, I can see why you didn't respond on Twitter now. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Toastify, you, you, uh, you want to keep going? I got, I got nothing. Uh, not true. Wait, what do you mean this doesn't end in terms didn't of you, what? What do you mean? Didn't you make uh, hold on, hold on, Brion. What does that mean? Hold on, Brion. What do you What do you mean by you said this isn't gonna end or whatever? It's not. It's it. I know I'm not gonna change your opinions, but it's not gonna do shit to my channel. So. Oh well. I know I'm in. If you say so. <laughs> I mean, I love soundboard so fucking much, dude. Dude, I'm, it was so, that was so, what the fuck was he thinking? Why would he come in if he just said no defense? I told you, defense? he's a freak. What do you mean, he's why would he freak. come in? Dude. He's retarded. <laughs> why would, would he do that? If he he left. Left. He'd be better him. if he didn't come up, call in. Like, he obviously knew that, like, he didn't have a good explanation, which is why he didn't respond to Sense of Society on Twitter. I don't know why the fuck he came into this stream. Why would he do that? There's a really... There's a re this guy was confronted on Darkstream. I have a really vivid memory of like people confronting him on this. He was silent for like 30 minutes. What didn't say anything. Totally silent.
getting pressed on this shit. I remembered. Like, this guy, he has no answers of any, any of this shit. It's fucking insane. This guy is a freak. All this tells me is that after a full-on year, you have learned nothing. You don't care about what you've done. You don't care if what you did was creepy and weird and that it probably deserves a little bit of change. You don't care. And you seemingly just don't want to change. That's what you're essentially admitting to us. A year has passed where people have judged you for this same thing, made fun of you for this same thing, and your only response to it is that, well, it won't hurt my career, so I don't care. What the fuck are you doing? Like Larrick says at the end of the stream, why would you do that? Why would you join a stream just to sit here and say, I don't care because it's not going to hurt me? What the fuck is wrong with you? You idiot. First of all, you're not a popular YouTuber. You average very low amount of views for a guy with 200,000 subs. And the reason why you have 200,000 subs is because of your fucking shorts. You're not a big YouTuber. You don't garner much in the first place. You're not somebody that garners a bunch of money and views and all this other stuff. And, not to mention, you have a terrible reputation already within the community. You're tarnishing it 10 times more by going on a stream and saying, I don't give a fuck, nothing will hurt me. So, not once have you sat down and said, what I did was bad and stupid and wrong, and I just need to be a better person and change and be more self-aware. What I'm getting at here is, how do we know that your behavior hasn't changed once? We have no clue if you're a bad guy within the community, if you're actually a creep, if, if you're not, we have no clue. Which is the scary part. It's the sheer fact you choose not to change anything about yourself and still act like what you did was completely normal when I would say what you've done is not really that normal. I think it's kind of weird and you should at least own up to it, right? You should have at least back then, which I think is, uh, I think it's a little strange that you can't just get up and say, yeah, I'm a fucking idiot. Like, I, I don't know why you have to constantly defend yourself. It's just really idiotic. But anyways, guys, I don't want to keep rambling on about this subject. Again, I don't think the guy is a pedophile. I don't think he's like creepy pedo. I think the guy's just a creep. I, I think he's just kind of weird and has like a weird, uh, weird fetish that involves vampire-esque shit or something. I, you know, I don't really care about that side of him. You know, do, you do you, Brion. But, uh, again, brother, stop getting into, you know, arguments with other YouTubers. Stop overreacting over things. Stop spurging out constantly on Twitter and on other platforms and just do your thing. It's just admit fault and just say, I'm a fucking weirdo, okay? It's, it's really not that fucking hard. And real quick, I just wanted to make it clear that I'm sorry that I haven't uploaded in a while. Got a little busy. Uh, I had a lot of stuff I had to do over the weekend and stuff. So these videos that I'm making currently, they're taking a little bit more time, but uh, I promise that they'll be out and then, you know, I'll upload it at a quicker basis and things will come out a little bit more often. All right. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys next time. And if you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell. And if you guys really, really, really love my channel and videos and want to show support to the channel, feel free to become a member. It starts at only $2 a month. I know, lower than most channels. And it comes with perks like special emotes for live streams, members only live streams, and just many more perks. But anyways guys, I don't want to keep rambling on, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.